Plastic surgeons are now tracking transgender surgeries performed each year here in the U.S. The numbers show that such procedures are becoming much more common. In one year, 2015 to 2016, gender confirming procedures increased nearly 20 percent. We want to welcome Dr. Laura Saunders from the Institute of Living at Hartford Hospital. Good morning to you and thank you for coming in. Good morning, Carrie. Help us understand this more. Unless you know someone going through this or you're going through it with your own child or someone close to you, not everybody really gets what this is all about. What exactly is gender identity issues? What do we mean by that? So gender identity is the process, the internal process that helps us understand who we are and what our gender identity is. In a small percentage of individuals, their internal gender, gender identity, that internal feeling of masculinity or femininity does not match their biological sex. In the great majority of people, it does match. But there is that percentage of individuals where it doesn't match. And that's what we call gender dysphoria. The gender identity does not match their biological sex. I was telling you, I have a friend going through this with their child. Uh, so I feel like I've learned a little bit about it. I've also learned it is not cut and dry. Even the, the child, the, the person going through this, it's not cut and dry necessarily for them either. Right. It's a process of understanding oneself. I mean, that's what adolescence and young adulthood is anyway. It's a process of understanding who am I, what are my values, what's important to me. And I think that very often kids don't have a label for what's going on. They understand they're different. They may feel like they've been born in the wrong body. Um, and again, it's important to note that gender identity is an internal process. Sexual orientation is an external process, the gender to which you're attracted. Those are two separate things and people often confuse them. The process of figuring this out can take a long, long time, can't it? Yes, it can. And I think what's critical is that parents stay with the child, meaning they validate where they're at in the moment instead of trying to um, tell them it's not true and put them into like a gender box, being able to validate where they're at and seek expert help and advice. If you're unsure of what's going on with your child, if your child, you know, very often these kids become uh, distressed, suicidal, mm -hmm. they have higher rates of suicide and depression than the general population because of that inner confusion. So the better we validate, the more we deal with also the mental health side effects. Katie Kirk has a documentary coming out, Gender Revolution. Hopefully it will ex certainly examine some of these things and provide some insight and information for people going through this. Tell us a little bit about that. So Gender Revolution is um, a documentary by the National Geographic Channel. And what we're doing is we're taking that documentary, we've been given access to it, and uh, holding a community forum. So we're holding an event that is showing the documentary and then we're going to have a panel of experts, myself, uh, Dr. Fulwani from CCMC, people who have access to information and we want the community to be able to be there so that they can get access not just to the documentary but to a panel of experts. We're going to have a PFLAG parent there also. So it's going to be a good marriage of what we need to do to provide information and how we can help the community. So important for us all to understand this. So the gender revolution, understanding gender identity issues will be shown at Real Artways in Hartford on Tuesday, June 6th, coming up, followed by, as you just mentioned, that panel discussion, yes. uh, the hours from 6 to 9. Uh, again, so important for us all to get a handle on this and grasp it and help the people going through this. Absolutely. Dr. Saunders, thanks so much. Thank you.